Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is GB here from Income Babes and in today's video we are going to be doing another budget with me for the third week of October. Now this week was pretty interesting. This arrived in the mail for me and it was a complete surprise to me because I was like, wait a minute, I did not apply for a credit card. So why is there a credit card applied for me in my name? Apparently, my husband thought it was a really good idea for us to finally get our very first credit card and use it for our day-to-day -day expenses. Now, for me, I've always been afraid of credit cards because I feel like, oh my gosh, I have access to cash. I'm going to go in debt. I have no self-control. I've always run away from them. Even as a bank employee, I've stayed away from them, I don't know, for the last 10 years or so. When I first joined the bank many, many years ago, I, I had a small credit card and I abused that because, you know, it was my first job. I didn't have any self-control. I didn't know how credit cards work. Maxed it out. It took me a long time just to pay it off because I didn't care for it. I didn't know how credit cards work. Why am I saying all of this to you? Well, we're going to get into today's budget with me and I'm going to show you why I'm now implementing a very new method to my cash envelope stuffing and why I decided that this was actually a really good idea. If that sounds like anything interesting to you, just keep on watching. We're going to dive straight into this week here. I actually now do have, I'm now using a new tracker for my credit card here and we're going to get into this very shortly. All right, so we are going to grab my bills binder here and I do use USD, um, Play cash, pretend cash, toy cash, fake cash for my bills binder because these funds cannot be removed from my bank account because all of my expenses are currently being deducted from my bank account using my debit card. Okay, so what we're going to do is we do have a cash inflow for this week of 827, which is this cash here. And we also have a 153 buffer from last week. I'm just going to go quickly to the buffer. We're just going to take that cash out and then we can go ahead and distribute the cash to the different categories. If you've missed my video on why I use prop money for my bills binder, I will have a video linked up in the card somewhere on the screen. Hopefully it shows um, because it's a really good method for cash stuffing. You don't always have to use 100% cash. Prop money is also a good alternative as well. So my buffer for last week should be 153. 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, uh, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. So that is the 153 for the buffer for last week. So this amount should be 827 for my inflow for this week. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 6, 20, 40, 60, 87, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 8, 5, 11, I mean 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it should be 8. Oh, it's supposed to be 827. Did I miss something? Must could have been the tens i'm not going to spend all day counting that over we will double check that if i'm sure 10 10 obviously then i know it's the tens so we'll get to those a little bit later let's go ahead and get just start cash 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 stuffing this total amount should be 980 all right i'm going to start to the top of the page and we're going to work our way down all right so the first uh what was deducted from my bank account, the first charge was 11 euros for Kindle, which was supposed to be canceled last month, but got too late to cancel it. So it's now been canceled. So hopefully going into next month um, will not be an issue. So we have our 11 euros here and we're gonna put Kindle with Amazon in our budget binder here. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and add 11 to this one here. All right, the next 
bill that came off of our bank account was 35 for another subscription again this was something i was supposed to cancel last month didn't get around to it my, that's the mistake is on my behalf so i did go ahead and cancel so this should be the last month for this particular subscription 20 30 35 so this is going to go into our other subscriptions envelope again if you hear any background noise those are the kids today is a beautiful sunny sunday which is really nice because it's been raining all week all week it's been a big storm and oh, i'm just getting soaked all right so the next deduction that came off my bank account was eight euros for a phone so we're gonna get five six seven eight five six seven eight and that's gonna go towards our phone which is right here hope you guys have had a dry and wonderful week and uh hopefully another wonderful week ahead the next one is my canvas subscription and that one is for 12 euros so i'm gonna take a 10 and two ones 10 11 12 that's a 110 right yep yeah. so let's now look for the envelope that has um, Canva on it. No credit card. Canva. Hmm. Must be closer to the front. Netflix. Oh, here it is. All right. So here is our envelope for Canva. So Canva has been paid for this month. So that is now done. Now the next payment that came out. Um, oh, that I need to set aside. A 169 for rent to go towards my rent bill. That's 150, 60, 65, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 169. I'm going to be putting towards the rent for this week's cash flow. 150. 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So we can now add this to our rent envelope as well. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna move into the things that were not in the budget that I just ended up paying for. So the first one is I put 20, I had to purchase uh, some, I'd top my bus card up um, for work. So that was 20 euros to top off my bus card. So that's going to go into our transportation costs. And this is a cost that is now increasing because, you know, I'm, I'm now working and I have to travel. So and it's cheaper to go on the bus. And, and we are actually still looking into uh, purchasing a vehicle. So until then, we need to... I, I still need to use the public transportation, which I have no problems with, actually. Um, it's the most cost-effective method right now because it's such a long commute. All right, and then I did spend 12 euros from the bank account on some lunch. Um, didn't have time. Woke up late one day. I didn't have time to pack lunch. I was still to work on time. It's just I didn't have time to pack my usual stuff. So I needed to make purchase. Oh, I actually don't have an envelope here for lunch. So I'm going to just put this 12 with miscellaneous for now. All right. All right. And then the next thing was there was a Apple charge for seven for some Roblox for my son. He was gaming. He wanted to have some Roblox. This actually needs to come back from his bank account. I make them pay for their own stuff. I'm not going to be, you know, paying for these entertainment stuff because this is personal stuff. Okay. So that this has to come back from his bank account and five six seven and this is going to go into miscellaneous as well all right then guys we went over budget in groceries i think this is the biggest over budget that we went now groceries was a whopping 536 euros this week and that is because i would have mentioned that we were um having birthday party for one of my twins this week and um, I sent Hobby to the store to get a few things just a few I gave a list just a few all you have to do is look at the list purchase and Hobby decided he was just gonna <laughs> so 
groceries, which should have gotten a budget of 300, ended up being a total of 536. So the plans that I had for this week with a nice juicy buffer and savings and all that stuff completely vanished into thin air. 20, 30, 35, 36, right? Okay, so I believe this is 536 here. So yeah, we really went insane this week. One, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 30, 35, 36. All right, so 536 for groceries for this week. And then um, my daughter wanted to get some a Shein order so that's kind of shopping i don't think i have an envelope here for shopping so we're gonna put that in miscellaneous as well and that Shein order that shopping was 85. uh it was her birthday i i just we just felt you know it's a birthday let's let's go ahead and do something special and also this five this 85 here would have been funded from those you remember the virgo challenge for last month and the libra challenge for this month that was 80 euros that we saved so i was able to pay myself back and i took the extra five from birthdays and we were able to pay ourselves back because we used the debit card i'm still going to put the cash into miscellaneous but we were able to pay ourselves back and i'll explain why what we what we did with that money that we paid ourselves back all right and that was 85. So now in buffer, we now have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 70, 75, 80, 85. So now we only have left 85. And you guys know that every week I usually take 160 euros. So this is 85 in my buffer. I usually take 160 euros to pay I mean, to go into my savings because I will never let a week go without putting money towards my savings. And you guys will also know I did my savings challenges cash stuffing yesterday and that was 230. So here is where the credit card comes in. I only have 85 left. So that means I'm short 75 to put into my savings challenges. And I did have extra cash. Honey, my husband did, who I call honey, honey did give me some extra cash to put towards the savings. Now, if I did not have, and plus I had to order groceries for this week ahead, because today is Sunday, I usually place my order for my groceries on Saturdays. And usually my groceries for the week ahead when I order in advance is around that 200 euro mark. So we're already short 75. For my savings, I only have 85 in the buffer. We paid myself back the 85 for the shopping from birthdays. So this 85 plus the 85 from the shopping uh, reimbursement for the birthdays, you know, that's 85 plus 85, that's 170. So, and then I got some extra cash from Honey Bunches, which bring that up to 230. So right now the buffer is zero because we emptied this out. The saving challenges are all nicely stuffed. Here I am starting this week ahead with zero in my buffer. Okay, I need to purchase groceries and for lunch for my kids for this week ahead. And this is where this came in. If I didn't have this, I would actually be in a problem today. Now, mind you, if I didn't have this, obviously, I don't think Honey Bunches would have overspent in groceries the way that he did. Okay, because he knew that we had a credit card, we could use the credit card and their cash would stay on our bank account until time to pay for it. So I have the cash on my bank account to actually pay the credit card off. We ended up using the credit card to purchase all of the groceries. This is what this is where this is all of the credit card transactions. And I keep a running tab on the transactions to make sure that it matches how much money is on my bank account. So right now I'm actually treating my credit card as a debit card. And this now eliminates the moments where I am now looking at my bank account and it's at a zero because I don't want to be in a position where there's only zero and there's one or two days before the next cash flow is actually hitting into my bank account. So this actually saved us this week. We're not over, we're, we haven't spent more than what we have. We're just now treating this as if it was our actual debit card and it gives us a little bit more time to allow the 
next cash flow to hit the bank account. Did that make sense? I hope that all actually just, just made sense. So right now, these are all of the credit card transactions up until today. I'm not going to include today because this week's groceries is going to be coming from this week's cash flow. It's just that this week's cash flow has not yet hit my bank account. When it does, this will be deducted from this week's cash flow. So excluding this, this is this this 621 is the 536 in groceries and this is the 85 in shopping birthday. Again, the 85 I got back and that, that was applied towards my savings challenges. The 85 and buffer has also been applied towards my saving challenges. And so that's why we're at a zero right now. That does not necessarily mean there's zero dollars in my bank account. There is cash on my bank account. It is this cash here plus more. So all of the cash on my bank account is allocated for because we were able to use the credit card. The other benefit to using this credit card, as you would see here, this is says Aer Lingus. If you're in Ireland, you would be familiar with this airline. Every euro that I spend on this credit card is going to be transformed into coins, or I don't know, I think in the US it might be called Air Miles. And so when I've accumulated a certain amount of transactions and I get my and we get the coins, we actually could get two free round trip tickets on Aer Lingus to any destination that they fly to. So you guys know that I, I have my eyes on a few European destinations for next year. And I actually really like the idea that I can use this now to actually get something in return. So I will be using this for my day-to-day -day small bills, my day-to-day -day transactions, such as my groceries or what's not. I will be doing that. And then the cash, I might be able to actually physically use real cash to cash stuff since that cash is now on my bank account. And I can actually take it off because my transactions are now going through the credit card so that is technically going to be the new kind of cash envelope method i'm going to be trying out i'm going to see how it works see if staying in if i can stay in budget and make sure that all of the funds that i need to pay my card off and i want to be able to pay this card off every two weeks like i'm not waiting until the bill comes out like i don't want i get nervous if i see you know like you owe i i get really nervous so i want to be able to pay this off like every two weeks i'll do like a bi-weekly kind of cash condensing and just pay this off and then start the process all over again but again we'll see how this works but i love that if i didn't have this i'm not sure where what would happen today because now I, i'm at zero technically i'm not at zero on my bank account but in terms of the accounting i'm actually really at zero right now all right so shout out to hubby for thinking a little ahead and um and this is also going to help my credit score as well because i actually don't have credit score because i don't have any debt i don't have any credit facilities here in ireland as yet so you know this is going to help our credit score for in the future we might need something and now we're actually looking into purchasing a vehicle so that's another loan that we're looking into and all of that's going to help my credit score as well so hopefully these plans all work out guys don't be afraid like me i've been afraid of credit cards for a really long time i'm 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 looking forward to seeing how we get on with this credit card if i feel like we're losing being disciplined if we're, if we're losing a little bit of focus with this then i will cancel it and 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 just you can either put a stop to it but for now really great decision i'm looking forward to my free tickets uh for next year because i know i'm gonna use this credit card for everything now and um that's basically it for today's budget with me thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in my next video bye guys